えー、皆さんこんにちは。Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. 本つづれ勝山 is my company. My name is 勝山。Thank you for the invitation. I'm not get used to speak in front of the big audience, but、uh, please,、uh, they forgive me.、Uh, To give you my presentation,、uh, let me briefly introduce myself. Nishijin Ori Weaving Company is my company, and the Tsuzure Ori Weaving, you may know.、Uh, you remember the、uh, ancient story, the Tsuru no Ongaeshi, the all handmade weaving. On the second floor,、uh, we have a demonstration. So, if you are interested in please take a look at it. So, Tsuzureori,、uh, this is a picture of it, the oldest Tsuzureori in the history. The、uh, Taimadera temple in Nara, they store it, the woven in the 7th century. According to the tradition, Chujo Hime, the prince in Nara, had it. But、uh, based on the、uh, recent、uh, the study, it seems to be、uh, was woven in China. As for the characteristics, yes, this is 100% handmade. But、uh, today、uh, we'll discuss the culture and the computer. So, this is woven by each individual craftsman and the, as a uniqueness.、Uh, for example, the peacock design pattern and the white string and、uh, weft and weaves. And you have a blur、uh, the colors. You can depict a very Artistically, and the beautiful、uh, the pattern can be woven.、Uh, there are several patterns, two patterns. They're based on the、uh, original design you、uh, weave. And another point is、uh, the very freely made by the craftsman. Just to, to give reference to the original design. So, this one is the second the kind of the weaving,、uh, the based on the original、uh, picture or image design.、Uh, the craftsman himself、uh, the thought about how to weave. That the blue white area on the right hand side, and then the color becomes to be darker. So, there is a color gradation. And that is uh, uh, indeed the characteristics of the Tsuzure Ori weaving. And this is a technique of the craftsman. So, if the layman will do the same,、uh, you can't make this smooth gradation transition of the color. But this is indeed very artistic, the good tradition, beautiful transition given by the craftsman technique. Now I'm going to show you how to weave by craftsman. He's weaving the family mem、uh, emblem. The common, the emblem of a family. And that pattern is now woven. The gold yarn is now used, going back and hope forth. And this is the characteristics. And the green, blue, the yarn, the silk yarn is used. So you go back and forth. In the area where it is necessary. So you go back and forth several millimeters and you 
scrape the weft and the very detailed uh, work is done and uh, your eyes will be tired and uh, you spend eight hours a day for that and it's uh, indeed very tiring work and they are hard workers and about that emblem the crest in Edo period uh, the civil war time uh, they have a flag of the troops and that is a crest or emblem of the family and that was a start so even the lay people uh, merchants they also have those uh, the marks so the first uh, the son uh, will inherit the same mark of the family and that is indeed the inheritance and the importance of the family inheritance so the nowadays young people don't know about it but uh, it seems to be quite significant uh, custom I believe this is called he the craftsman used this to scrape the weft but uh, those utensils uh, they should be made but uh, those they are much the lack of uh, those skills person to make those utensils so there are weavers but uh, there is a shortage of those uh, the utensils and tools unfortunately so it's a good picture uh, you have a nails and the tip of the nail you have those zigzag cut and by using that nail you try to collect the those strings and keep and make those woven material very much very solid solid with nails another person that is called Rotsuro Tsuzure and that is for the summertime this is uh, the sash for summer and this is for the summer season is that really cool to wear no not really if you wear kimono in the summertime it's uh, really hot but the uh, rotsuzure uh, you have the transparency that means uh, you are still hot, but uh, those people who see you in this the rotsuzure, uh, the sash, they feel like uh, it's much cooler. Uh, so the, that is the observer's perspective, and that is also the quite an important essence of the Japanese culture. Let me talk about the craftsmen in general. Uh, the earnings is quite limited so they make and earn money from that but if their skill is very high then uh, your wages become higher but there is a time limit two weeks three weeks time limitation with within that uh, you have to weave so you have to shorten up the time period 
there is a demand for that. And within that uh, limited time period, uh, you come up with the best uh, the quality, then you can get money. And uh, that uh, uh, the family emblem, weaving, that's a very detailed one. And four meter length, and you have to spend four to five days, uh, working days, eight hours a day. So it's a really hard work, and uh, the, uh, there is a richness of those uh, uh, hard works behind. So thank you very much uh, for your kind attendance, and thank you. That's all for my presentation.